Well, hello there, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So in today's video, we're going to continue catching some more of those epics from the complete edition update. Uh, next, we're going to be going after the Nile tilapia. This is going to be found in Japan, South Korea, and the U.S. maps. And I believe it's U.S. West only. It's not in U.S. East. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We got the minnow, the crankbait, the dough ball, and the grasshopper. I recommend if you want to hunt this fish to do it in South Korea, and I'll take you to South Korea. These are all the locations. I'll bring all the locations up here where you can find it. It's found in multiple locations, but South Korea is by far the easiest to find because the location I'm going to take you to, South Korea 7, there's only two things that like the dough ball. Now tilapia and one other fish. And so it's really easy to find this fish using South Korea 7 and all the other locations. There's multiple fish that like the dough ball. So yeah, there's the easiest way to find him. So we're going to head out to South Korea 7 and uh, we'll go catch this guy. Okay, so here we are on South Korea 7. And like I said, we're going to be using the dough ball. Let's go ahead and bring up the fish here. The only other fish that likes the dough ball is this white nose loach. It's also on all three depths, as well as the Nile tilapia is on all three depths. Uh, the reason why I'm not using the grasshopper is because there's many fish that like the grasshopper and many fish that like the minnow and the crankbait. I really don't use that unless I'm going for only a bottom fish. So that's why I'm gonna stick with the dough ball. I'm gonna be targeting both the swirls and the, the uh, bubbles. And what I do is I go for the swirls first and we see if we get an instant. And then if I don't get any instant bites on the swirls, then you can even just cast around, see if you get anything on top. If you don't have anything out there to cast to, uh, then I go for the bubbles. If I don't see any swirls or bubbles, just reset your fish by going hard back to expert. You do need to be on expert to catch epics. So, yep. And I see a smaller swirl out there. And this one was actually a medium sized fish, so it won't be the tiny swirl. Now, if you have a really tiny swirl, it's going to be the other fish because it's a really tiny fish. So we'll just see if these medium sized swirls will turn the line red instantly. And if they don't, I just quick retrieve it by pulling the thumbstick back. Yep. Pull the thumbstick back and, uh, yeah, go to the next set of bubbles or swirls. Let's see if those bubbles do anything. Nothing. All right, so I'm going to keep casting out to these bubbles and swirls, and I'll bring it back when I get it on the line. Uh, probably in that area earlier. And there we go. That wasn't extremely fast, but that might be it. Yeah, I think that was it. Kind of caught a little glimpse of it. Let's see. I can tell when it jumps out of the water because it's got a crazy jump. It's pretty neat. Kind of flaps all over the place. <laughs> Come on, jump out. We can see if you're in. Yep, there it is. You see that crazy flipping around? Jump out of the water. That's the Nile Tilapia. Like I said, you can find this on multiple maps, but this one is by far the easiest. I mean, this is my what third cast, I think, and my second or third cast <laughs> to bubbles, and I found it. Easy peasy. Almost here. Come on, you're right here. All right, there we go. That's actually a big one there. Oh, that's my personal best. Three of them so far. So, well, there you have it. That's how you catch the Nile tilapia. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done this already so you can see more tips and tricks like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.